You're watching The Vault. I'm Bro Gilbert, and this week, something from the brilliant mind of Boris Wilde. This is an effect called pop, and I believe it is the cleanest method and solution to the open prediction plot that is out there. It's fooled some of the best magicians in the world multiple times. It's clean. It resets the outcome. The prediction can be different every time. Here is a full, uncut performance from the man, the maestro, Mr. Boris Wilde. Enjoy. Pop. Hi, Amelie. Hi, Boris. You know, there is something magicians love to do, and it's uh, called predictions. We love to make predictions. But predictions can be frustrating sometimes because the principle of a prediction is that you leave something aside before the effect starts, but you have to wait until the end of the effect to know what it is. And I know it can be frustrating sometimes. So that's why I decided to do today for you and you an open prediction, which means that you will know from the beginning what my prediction is. And that's why I have here this blue deck of cards. And from this blue deck, I'm going to take one card out, face up, so you will be able to see what it is. So it must be a card that fits you. So, ah, Queen of Hearts might be a little too obvious. So an Ace would be a good choice, but um, you know what? A Four. A Four could be a, yeah, I like the Four here. Four of Spades. So we don't need a blue deck anymore, just one card because that's my prediction, the four of space. The good thing is that you know this prediction from the beginning, you know what it is, and we haven't done anything yet. So that's good, because now I also need this deck here. I need this red deck here. Of course, all the cards different. Well, shuffled, as you can see. I'm going to shuffle them a bit more, just to make sure that everything is absolutely fair. And in one moment, I'm not going to do anything. You are going to do everything for me. In one moment, I will give you those cards, and I will give you to do some, I will ask you to do something very simple. Just deal the cards face up like this, one by one, on the table. Yes? Whenever you feel like it, you stop. And the next one, you deal it face down. You leave it face down on the table. Yes? So you don't see it. I don't see it. Nobody knows what it is. Yeah? And then you keep dealing the card face up until the very last card. Very easy. Uh, when you deal cards, do you usually hold them in your left hand, right hand? Oh, right hand? Okay, good. So, uh, let's have a little look here. Uh, let's, oh, four of clubs, but it's not. Okay, good. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, face up one by one. Excellent. Yes. And it must come from the heart. Whenever you feel like it, whenever you want to stop, just stop at any time and deal the next card by leaving it face down. So nobody sees it. And you can really stop anytime. It's good because she takes her time. That's good. I like that. She knows. Here, are you sure? You know it's the right moment for you. Okay, good. Leave it face down. Perfect. And keep dealing the card face up. One. Oh, four of hearts. That was close. It's a four, but no. So far, so good. All right. Yeah. Keep dealing the cards face. Oh, five of spades. That's very close. Oh, my. Three of spades. Oh, my God. Okay. Keep dealing. Yes. Keep dealing face up. Whew. I mean, it's, it's really around the four of spades, but it's not. So, so far, so good. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's the queen of hearts. Ha <laughs> ha. And no, so yeah. Oh, four of diamonds, that's another four, but no, we're, we're good. And two of spades, no. Got a few cards left, only a few cards left. Oh, last card, last card, turn it slowly for the suspense. And it's, oh, not the four of spades. I kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, all the cards, you know, then all the cards face up, but you left one card face down and I don't think we saw the four of spades, right? Just to make sure, let's have a look. And I'm not going to do any funny moves or anything here. Just to show you that, indeed, that's a four of diamonds. Okay, uh, we have what, 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 the three of spades. Yes, the five of spades. Uh, four of hearts. Yeah, remember, that was your card. And what do we have here? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 four of clubs, yes. But, hey, no. Four of spades. Yes, we didn't see my prediction, the four of spades. So I guess it's pretty cool because it means that the only card that we didn't see that you left face down has to be the four of spades and it matches my prediction. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a miracle. Come on. I mean, that's the only one and it's, and it's my prediction, the four of spades, the same card. Wow. Okay, you don't seem, I mean, I can see your face and reaction. It's probably the same face and reaction you have at home right now. You're thinking, hey, we want some proof. We want to see that card. And some people also think sometimes, yeah, but what if that, you know, this Frenchy guy, maybe he didn't put the four of spades in the red deck. Yeah, maybe I could have done that. Maybe there's no four of spades here. And you 
just leave one in different card face down and I try to convince you it's the four of spades. Yes, I could have done that. But hey, that would be cheating. And I'm not a cheater. Oh no. And I promise in that deck here, oh yes, there is a four of spades. And because we didn't see it, it has to be the only one that you left face down right here in the center. The one and only, of course. And it matches my prediction exactly the four of spades. I mean, your card. Ta-da! You made it! Congratulations! <laughs>